Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. Have you ever noticed how weird things feel when you accelerate? If you're in a car moving along the road at a steady speed, then everything feels normal. As far as your senses are concerned, you're sitting still and everything else is moving around you. The only reason you know you're moving is because you've learned that things like trees and houses don't. Your wisdom brings you to that conclusion, not your senses. It's what we call an inertial reference frame, or IRF. In contrast, let's say you're sitting at a red light with a hanging pendulum. What? You don't have a pendulum hanging in your car? Weirdo. As you accelerate forward, the pendulum moves toward the back of the car. So it seems to someone sitting in the car, there must be a force. It's an illusion. It's what we call a fictitious force, or a force that's only there when you're looking from a certain perspective. In this case, the perspective is inside an accelerating car, what you might call an accelerated reference frame, or ARF. Things get a little more interesting when you're traveling in a circle. Rotation, even at constant speed, is always accelerated. So let's have some fun with it. This is a merry-go-round. It took me a while to find one of these. Apparently they've been removing them for child safety or something. There are newer ones that meet safety regulations, but they're really expensive, and they look stupid too. I mean, at some point you have to let kids make mistakes. Some of the best stuff in life can cause temporary pain. Anyway, a spinning merry-go-round is an accelerated perspective. If you're off of it, it's clear that it's the merry-go-round that's spinning. If you're on it, it looks like everything else is spinning around you. But things feel a little strange. So let's bring that pendulum back for a moment. Sitting on the spinning merry-go-round, the pendulum appears to swing outward away from the center. So from this perspective, it would look like you need a force on the pendulum pointing away from the center. This force is what we call a centrifugal force, or sometimes mispronounced centrifugal force. It's fictitious. It's an illusion. You only feel like you need it because there doesn't appear to be any other reason for what you're seeing. Standing on the ground, though, you get a different perspective. The pendulum is accelerating in a circle, so the outward centrifugal force is completely unnecessary necessary. What does exist, from both perspectives, is the tension in the string. That's a real force, and it has two components. Part of it is balancing the weight of the pendulum. The other part is causing its acceleration. Toward the center! This center-seeking force is sometimes called a centripetal force, and it's the net force toward the center. Net force is found using Newton's second law. The total force toward the center equals mass times acceleration, or in this case, mass times rotational speed twice times your distance from the center. It's stronger when the merry-go-round spins faster, or when you're further from the center. Since it's only a net force, it could be made of an entire single force, like the gravity on the moon from the Earth, a part of a force, like the pendulum on the merry-go-round, or multiple forces together, like cars experience on a circular ramp. The fictitious centrifugal force has the same strength, opposite direction, and only exists in the rotating frame. On the merry-go-round, off the merry-go-round. On, off. On, off. On, off. Get the picture? But when I'm on one, I can feel the outward force. Actually, that's not what you're feeling. Feeling something might make it a real experience, but that doesn't make it a physical reality. The merry-go-round exerts some friction on my butt to maintain circular motion. Otherwise, I would just slide right off. According to Newton's third law, my butt responds by exerting a friction force back on the merry-go-round. What you feel is your response to the force, not the force itself. Perception's kind of tricky like that. For this reason, if at all possible, you should try to work from a perspective with no acceleration at all. So what do you think about them removing all those merry-go-rounds? Please rant in the comments whatever your opinion. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy. 